what's going on everybody so today unfortunately is not the best of days uh, as you can see my camper behind me here we're parked at a friend's house in South Florida and uh, our solar panel got stolen so right in the middle of the day it must have been we only left it open throughout the day and uh, there's a lot of maintenance crews and things in and out of here so we really have no idea who it could have been but we're pretty bummed out about that. Anyways, we're still leaving tomorrow and I was cleaning out my trunk. Just wanted to get things a little more organized and tidy things back up. So I took everything out and this is everything out in the yard. So I wanted to show you everything that I have inside the trunk of this rather spacious uh, Lincoln Town car. Could probably fit about 10 people in there. But yeah, all of this stuff fits. So I wanna go over the use of every single item that we have in our trunk because it is valuable storage space overall so everything we have in the trunk serves its purpose so first of all we've got our spare tires one for the trailer and one for the car uh, this is going to be our trailer leveling jacks just to give it that extra support on the back end that's my camp chair this is my art supplies it's kind of a lot uh, but i do like doing little woodworking things and I make live edge coasters and this is the resin that I use to cast over them. Uh, and this is just kind of storage for little miscellaneous projects I'm working on. Uh, this is our batwing tarp. If you've seen any of my other videos, you've seen the big tarp that goes outside of the camper. It's 16 foot by 16 foot and it gets nice and small down into this little bag. Some extra oil, obviously more little tool bags that carry uh, tools for the working on the car, working on the camper, just, this is like my most used tools in there. That's the drone, uh, it's kind of just under a box. I don't really have a lid on that thing. Uh, and this is my miter saw that I use also with the coasters, that's how I cut the coasters. Um, over here we've got the toe straps. I'm probably gonna end up strapping my surfboard to the roof with one of those for now till I can get a surfboard rack. Uh, over there we've got oil pan and gold pan. Obviously the pans stay together. Uh, these are our car jacks and a bow saw for any branches that might get kind of thrown into the road in front of our path or anything. Something crazy like that happens where we live. They're kind of just my car specific tools. My trunk is really kind of a mini garage, honestly. There's a lot of tools and things back there. Like this is the uh, leveling blocks for the camper when we're on an uneven surface. Jumper cables, uh, just rags. One of those sham wows or something like that, frog tog. That's Andrea's camp chair there. And uh, that pretty much sums up everything that goes into the trunk. And there's also one other big table I put in there. So I'll go ahead and show you guys what it looks like getting all of this into the trunk of the Lincoln Town Car. So I just basically play a little Tetris game here, and uh, yeah, all that stuff in the yard fit into the trunk. The saw is the newest addition, so that was a little weird to figure out, but once you got a spot for everything, and you stay camping for two weeks in one spot, you unload it once, it takes about 30 minutes, and you know, that's, that's our campsite setup, pretty much all in the trunk. So I just wanted to give you guys a better idea of the things that we bring with us on the road, and how we use our trunk for storage. And we're still pretty bummed out that we got our solar panel stolen. We just realized it today. It must have been over the past four days because I had it in the last video charging it at the uh, park out there. So brought it back home out here and uh, it's gone. I mean, that's just something we, uh, we should have taken our necessary precautions throughout the day and been a little bit more aware. But when you come out to another city area, you know, there's a lot more people and a lot more bad people when there's more people so it's unfortunate but we move on so the plan as of right now is actually changing uh, in the last couple videos we've been talking about going up to the Northeast but here over the last few days we've just started pondering the idea of going back to the Rocky Mountains for a little bit we both loved it out there and uh, spending an entire summer in the Rocky Mountains sounds pretty nice because we've been cold all winter and now we got some time to enjoy the mountains and the heat so 
we really don't know where we're going so stay tuned for the next video guys to uh, follow us along on our journey and hopefully getting a new solar panel soon and uh, we'll see you in the next one thanks for watching